short of breath, but I'm ready for the clue today in, in this episode of IELTS Face Off. Let me borrow your shoulder. Okay, you can, but I need to do the show. So, that, very nice. Oh, okay. I think today, you know, something about love, maybe. Somebody who's here to talk about peace, love. It's for you. Oh, thank you, and an orange. Peace, love, and an orange. Is it Cinderella, Snow White, and the Seven Doors, but with an orange? I don't really know. So guys, I'm gonna get this thing to help me. My name is Orange and I'm not a fruit, I'm a singer. I was an X contestant in the X Factor 2014 with my real name, Ku Huang Mi. But my musical journey only started with the song Ngui La Oi. I'm only taking the first steps in my career and I'm very excited for my future. My aspiration is to be an inspiration for people with my music. Oh, it all makes sense. That is the lyric of her song. I love that song. And so I, I'm so excited to be able to actually get to know the person who sang it. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to be freaky. Hi. Uh, so nice hi. No, I, I, I was I, just kidding. I so. normally don't greet people like that. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> now that we have Orange here, why don't we start the show? So let, we'll be right back. We're back at the IELTS Face Off studio and we have Orange. Hi, everyone. It's an honor to be here. Fantastic. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get a lot of stories out of her today. Okay, so uh, so maybe tell us a bit about about that transition from your real name, which is Kung Hwang Mi, to right now your uh, your stage name, which is Orange. Sometimes the name that your parents give you means a lot of good things, but it can also be an obstacle to your career. My real name means perfect, and everyone can expect the same thing from my name. Sometimes it's an over expectation from everybody and it makes me feel really nervous and I feel anxious all the time because I'm not perfect. Mm. So I decided to change my name into <laughs> the fruit that I really like, which is orange. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the fruit, it's not, it's not the it's color. It's the fruit and also the, the color. Mm -hmm. I think orange is the color that gives me luck. Did you see that you've received a lot of luck from the time that you changed your name? Right after I changed my name, I got, which is Ngui Lao. So I think it's definitely lucky. <laughs> it's a fantastic song. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm. Now, ever since you participated in all of those competitions, you participated in two competitions in total, and you won one of them. Um, but you only released your song, like, a lot later. Why was the time so long? Actually, the show that I won is, a, is an imitation show. So actually the audience didn't get to see my, to hear my real voice and see the real me. And at the time I thought I wasn't good enough. I didn't know what my true genre is. I didn't know which style suited me best. So yeah, I, I decided to wait for another two years to find my true self. Mm -hmm. And then when I was completely ready I put on my products. Mm. For, when you say that you weren't so confident, what were you not confident about? Actually, I'm always not a confident person. I have a very negative way of thinking. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. I'm ugly. And sometimes I think to myself that I really, 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 really hate myself. And it was lucky that I found out the truth I actually 
notice that in me and I try to change. So now it got a lot better. Mm. After I re recover from that insecurity, mm. I got more confidence to do what I really like. Mm. Does the hit help or does the hit not really help? It comes with both positive and negative things. Many more people know me and many more people judge me. Mm. Sometimes it's really hard to balance between the two. When I read uh, the comments on YouTube on my song, I can see like five comments which um, compliment my voice. Ten comments which say, I'm a parasite. That only depends on Carrick. Sometimes I feel really insecure reading those comments. And right now, I decided to stop reading comments. I think a vulnerable position, right? Because with just one song and then your fame just rose, and I'm glad that um, that song has really brought you new opportunities, right? Um, despite the fact that there are drawbacks. Now for the song Người La Ơi, um, it was written by Cho Dong Khoa, and a lot of people wanted that song. Why do you think Cho Dong Khoa gave it to you? I think he saw something in me. He thinks that factor really suits the song, so he chose to keep it for me. Mm. I also heard that Carrick was forced to rap yeah. the song. <laughs> Tell us about that story. Actually, it's a joke. Carrick and Cho Dong Khoa, they're really close. They're like brothers. At first, Carrick didn't even know who I am. He didn't want to risk a song with someone like me, so Cho Dong Khoa forced him to um, give me a try. Mm -hmm. And when he listened to my demo, he was okay with doing the song with me. Mm -hmm. What do you think about you know, young people wanting to pursue their dreams, right? Either in singing or dancing or arts. And these are all very, I would say, risky industries because you can't really see the future when you start. You have to be in it and then to, to play it out and to work really hard. Um, do you think that's a path uh, suggested to people? And how do you think people can maneuver the difficulties of this industry? I think the key point is to to really know what weaknesses and what strong points that you have. Maybe you can have dreams, but dreams can be illusions. Maybe you have illusions about your talents. Maybe you're not good enough. You have to be alert and you have to be conscious of yourself. And when you're really conscious and you're really confident in your talent, you have to follow your dream. You're a new singer. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're, there's everything new about you. Um, do you enjoy being the new kid on the block? Do you think that there are advantages to being one? Or are there more difficulties? Every artist has to be a newcomer first. So it's a step that everybody ha has to go through. And yeah, of course, I have to go through the newcomer phase of being a singer. So right now, I think I have an advantage because I think I have a unique factor. And I sing a genre that not many people choose to go after nowadays. Later on, I have to try to continue to develop myself, improve myself, and try other genres of music mm -hmm. so that uh, I can give the audience the options to listen to. I can't always offer them the R&B right. Mm -hmm. It would be boring. I would actually really like to know something. Right, because sometimes singers will listen. I don't know if singers read, but I w I'm wondering if you do read, and if you do, what's your favorite book? It's uh, The Kite Runner. It's a really touching story, and it's really inspiring about the two kids, about the story of the childhood, and all the way to when they grow up. Mm -hmm. We can actually find that book in Vietnam. I've seen it yeah. in a lot of places, yeah. Because this is an English show, <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering if you have favorite English words. I think it would be versatile. It means that you're flexible and capable of doing a lot of things. As a singer and a musician, I want to be able to, to sing perfectly, inspiringly, and be able to write good music. Mm -hmm. And I, I also want to take part in the production stages also. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I think because we're dressed together, um, let's challenge ourselves to a game of IELTS Face Off. All right, great. IELTS Face Off coming right up next for the IELTS Challenge. Welcome to IELTS Face Off Challenge. And as every week, we're going to challenge our guests to a series of amazing and interesting things. And today, it's song related. We're going to show Orange a couple of emojis, and she's going to guess which song name these emojis represent. So Orange, let's start with the first. All right. Uh, fireworks. Fireworks. Fantastic. Lemon tree. Lemon tree. Fantastic. Dun, da, 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 da. 
A tough girl. Yeah. <laughs> hand, hand, goodbye, <laughs> wait, <laughs> hello. <laughs> a hand can mean a lot of things. Fing, finger kiss. Think, think not of the finger. Think of this as counting lips. <laughs> counting lips. <laughs> One kiss. This. Back how? You don't go to work, but you? The lazy song. No, 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 no. You don't go to work, but you? Stay at home. Ah, close, close, close. Come on. You stay at home with your back? No, sexy guys, you know, holding a hammer. Girls jumping around him in the music video. Work from home. <laughs> okay, <coughs> next. Wedding ring. No. Ring wedding. Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars. Da, 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 da. Mar uh, marry me? Yeah. Yeah. Close, close. Not me, but... Marry you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bruno Mars. Guns. What is this? What is this? Da, 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 kicks. Right. Pump chop kicks. Ba, 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 bang, bang. <laughs> what? What did you say? Is it bang, bang? Yes, it's bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. It's not ba, 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 bang, bang, bang. bang. <laughs> but it's bang, bang. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Don't speak. No. What's this? What's this? Love, don't speak. Very close, but... Love, don't say it. Mm -hmm. Nothing gonna change my love for you. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. We're not talking about Yeah. Okay, we're done. We got most of it. Yes. I don't feel really proud. <laughs> Good teamwork. <laughs> okay, thanks Orange. That was so much fun. Thanks for coming by. And uh, I'm so excited to listen to your new songs coming up. And always come back and play. I'm very, very glad to hear uh, your wonderful words and I really hope that I will get the chance to return to the show one day. That's it for the IELTS Face Off Challenge with uh, our lovely Orange, but we still got more to come in the next section. Thanks so much, Orange. You're welcome. Next, we will head to the Northeastern Mountain. Yeah! We still duck and aisles on the go. Our next stop will be Gaobang Province, and we're going to meet four young talented students from Gaobang High School for the Gifted. One out of four will volunteer to enter the speaking test room. Who will be the pioneer? Will the aisles experts be easy on our contestant? But wait. We have a brand new IELTS expert this season. Excited enough! Let's get to the studio to check out this new IELTS expert right now. When we talk about the IELTS, we need the experts, and the IELTS expert section definitely needs the IELTS expert. Hi, Richard. Welcome. Hi, Phoebe. Thank you. It's the first time here. Can you maybe give us a little bit of introduction about yourself? Well, I'm a teacher, and I've worked in a few countries around the world. I've had a lot of experience with IELTS, and it's great to be sitting in this little thing here. Bad tub. <laughs> yeah. So shall we start our IELTS expert party with <laughs> our IELTS on the go? Okay. So Dr. Chun Thung, please take it away. Show us what the party is. Hello guys, I'm in Kaobang and today is a lovely day and I'm joined by some equally lovely people. And one fun fact that I just found out about them is that they're all Thai, except for you. Yeah. And Thai people, I tell you guys, are beautiful. I wish I would Thai. But you are also beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Oh, anyway, we're not here to discuss their beauty, but we are here to discuss how they learn English. But first, you got to be courteous and get to know each other. So could you please take turns and introduce yourselves? My name is Tam Tu Cha. I'm currently a student in maths major class of Gabang High School for the Gifted. 
I am Lung Ảnh and I am a student of Cao Bằng School for the Gifted in the Math major. I'm Hoàng Mạnh Dũng. Uh, I'm from English major at um, Cao Bằng School for the Gifted. My name is Seo and I'm also from English major of Cao Bằng High School for the Gifted. Why did you sign up for a math class in the first place when your English is so good? I have learned English since I was in grade one and when I started high school, I want a little more challenge to my life, so I decided to attend math major. So you want to be a little bit more well-rounded? Yeah. You don't want to be that kid who's only good at English. So do you guys also go to like extra classes? Because you are English major, so I would assume that there's no need to go to an extra class. No, no, Am I right? No, we still need to go to the extra class because there are many skills that we also need to improve. I'm not very confident in my speaking skills okay. because I always fear of speaking in front of people. Okay, what about you? Did you like actively want to go in the first place or did your parents kind of force you to go? Basically, my parents forced me to go. So I didn't like English at first, but uh, after a while it's kind of grow into me. It's, it's the same for me as well. Yeah. Because when I first went to middle school, my parents were really concerned about uh, my grammar. So they sent me to grammar class and I thought at first like it sucked. After a while, I thought that uh, having a good command of grammar, it's really fantastic. Have you guys done any preparation for the IELTS? I practice my listening skill daily. That is really smart preparation because uh, listening skill takes a lot of time to improve. Have you done any IELTS preparation before? Never. Never? Yeah. Okay, so the IELTS has four skills. I don't know if you're aware or not, listening, reading, writing, speaking. Uh, what do you think is going to be the skill that you're most confident about? Um, I think it is the listening skill. Listening skill? Yeah. Because you've been practicing listening a lot. <laughs> yeah. For many IELTS learners, when they can't listen to something, they'll be like, okay, my pronunciation sucks. But, you know, part of it is also the vocabulary. I mean, if you don't know the words, it's unlikely that you can catch it when the speaker says it. Be patient, you guys. As your vocabulary expands, you're going to catch what the speaker says. Coming to IELTS on the go, one of you guys will get a chance to take an IELTS simulation speaking test. So I am going to have you guys decide among yourselves who is going to win. Okay, so discussion time. Okay, so uh, I was hoping that Cha would be the one to go. Like the girl in the blue t-shirt because she's going to take the IELTS soon. Uh, but I don't know, maybe the guys will decide and then they will give the chance to someone else. Uh, maybe the girl in white. I don't know. Let's see what they decide. Okay! So, uh, who are you guys going to give this opportunity to? Me. Okay. I'm right? Yeah. Why? Why I'm? No, she's the youngest, so I said... Oh, she's the youngest. So i uh, your seniors have been gracious enough to give you this opportunity. Okay, so the exam room is that way, but I think before you go, uh, we're going to give you a boost of motivation. Okay, so let's get down here. One, two, three. Uh, Aye. Aye. <laughs> Woo! Uh, thank you, bye-bye. So Richard, we finally found a person this time, and it's going to be your first contestant. Yes. And her name is Ngao Aang, and she is from Cao Bang. Are you ready to face off? I was born ready, Phoebe. All right, fantastic. We have the name of voice of this week, Ngọc Anh. You are surely looking forward to checking out the performance. And of course, Richard, our brand new IELTS expert, will bring you lots of useful tips for your journey conquering IELTS. In this episode, we will focus on collocation to master the writing tips. And remember our new segment this season, Book of the Week? This week will bring you a book titled Official IELTS Practice Materials. The show will continue right now. Hello, my name is Richard. Can you tell me your name, please? Oh, my full name is Lung Ngọc Anh. Okay, thank you. Now let's move on with part one. What traffic problems are there in your area? Since I was taught and, you know, raised awareness about traffic and traffic laws, um, the traffic system in Gabang is really great. It is, uh, has been developed uh, in two main directions. The, the first direction is to remodernizing the traffic foundation. Uh, you know, the road quality has been uh, vastly improved. The traffic density in rural areas has been uh, 
increased dramatically. The second direction is leading to a higher availability of tra public transport, like uh, providing bus routes to uh, district. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to part two. I'm going to give you a topic. Before you speak, you'll have a minute to think about it and you can write some notes. I'd like you to describe a trip by public transport. Okay, thank you. Can you start speaking now, please? Up to now, there have been many exciting trips I have made by public transport. However, uh, I suppose the most striking one is when I went to Hanoi to pay a visit to my sister. It is the first time I uh, had experienced a trip on a coach with best seats. Um, so let me tell you a little bit more detail about the experience. Since I was a little child, I have always got car sick. Being so afraid of traveling by car, I was so hesitant to enjoy the long trip with my family. And one day, mom told me she recognized a means of transport that could help me get rid of my car sickness. Um, it was a coach with bad seats. Um, you know, at first I didn't believe her, but finally I gave it a try. Oh, that was terrific. I was amazed at the coach. You know, the bed was clean and comfortable. Um, there was still a seat belt to protect me. Um, more amazingly, their Wi-Fi connection and you know their air condition system uh, were immaculate. Um, the customer service also blew me away. The blanket, the water, the toilet paper were all the time on hand without extra cost. Um, most importantly, I didn't suffer from the car sickness because the cold was so comfortable and it's not, it was not um, you know like uh, car like smelly, and that I could sleep sal mild soundly. You know, sleeping can take your mind off your costliness. Um, about the price, I think it's quite reasonable. I paid two hundred thousand dong for a single ticket. Um, our trip was like a new, excellent experience to me. I can enjoy watching films, uh, listening to music, and playing games as well. And the trip stopped in Hanoi after about six hours, uh, within a sixty-minute break halfway. Um, instead of feeling exhausted, like when going by car, I really had a good time. Let's move on to part three. Which method of travel do you consider safest? I think every method of travel has its own pros and cons. However, I consider traveling by airplane of, as the safest way of moving from one place to another. Uh, because, you know, in a flight, everything is meticulously organized. There are guidance for emergency that um, tourists have to learn before joining in the flight. There are well-trained flight attendants who are always available in case of any problem. Moreover, in a flight, every facility uh, is well equipped. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Oh, there's Ayn. Yeah. How was it? I'm so nervous and oh, I think I, I can tell. so good. Okay, calm down, calm down. It's perfectly normal uh, when you walk out of the exam room and you feel a little bit underwhelmed about your performance and you feel like you could do better. Yeah. It's a very common feeling, I assure you. Let's see what the examiner has to say about your performance, yeah? Yeah. So Richard, what do you think of Ngo Aang's performance? I want to say that I really admire young people like not Aang uh, because it's so clear the kind of work that she's put into to reach the place that she's at with her English. Really great speaking that she's doing there. In terms of fluency, she has a couple of little uh, things where, where she's formulating an answer, but most of those uh, formulations are connected to the content of what she's going to say next, she does have an extensive vocabulary. It's interesting, at one point she sort of had a little collision with the vocabulary where she touched on two styles at the same time. Mm. She said the air conditioning system and the Wi-Fi were immaculate and the customer service blew me away. It was a little <laughs> like formality and informality together, which was kind of strange at the time. Generally speaking, she does very well. In terms of pronunciation, a little bit of L1 interference. And so at some point she said, um, since I was a chai, and uh, <laughs> when she speaks about car sickness, she says car sickness, car sickness. <laughs> Uh, but just a few very small points to work on there in terms mm -hmm. of pronunciation. Otherwise, a really great performance and I have a lot of respect for someone who's put so much work into their English. Mm -hmm. Your performance is not as bad as you think, right? So do you think that the insight is uh, helpful? 
Yeah, I'm so helpful and thanks for the precious assessment that uh, you gave me and I think the next time I will try my best to take the real test better. Okay, now you have some experience and obviously when you go into the real test you have more confidence and sometimes confidence is the key. Alright, so you guys think that the feedback is helpful also? Yeah, okay. sure. So we can all benefit from the feedback of Aang's performance, right? So thank you very much for a very lovely day. And I want to make some memories. I want you guys to forget about me. So I've brought you guys some presents from VTV7. Thank you. Okay, here you thank go. Thank you so much. And since you're taking the test, I'm going to give you a present from the British Council, which is this backpack. Okay, for good luck. Yeah, thank you. So that's it, you guys. But don't go anywhere yet, because coming up next is tips, 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 and more tips. What do you think about the writing tip, about using collocations? So when thinking about uh, collocations, we're talking about vocabulary. So we're talking about uh, introducing new vocabulary into our writing. Where is that vocabulary going to come from? It's going to come from reading text that we're looking at. So we need to be looking at a range of different types of reading texts. Now, something that someone can try is to look at a reading text and then step away for a short time and try to rewrite what was there from memory. Now when you compare your text to the original, you'll see a lot of different vocabulary. Uh, the way that you've expressed it is probably different from the original text and many of the collocations will be in there. I'm a big fan of recording new vocabulary, including collocations, on vocabulary cards, which means the new Lexis on one side and a translation normally on the other and using these every day to refresh my memory. I look at my L1, try to remember the English. Yes, I can remember that one. This one, I can't remember, and I can see which ones I need to revise more often. Thanks so much, Richard. This is your first time. Thank you, it was great. Can yeah. I come back? Of course, you can come back awesome. many, 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 many mm -hmm. times. Yeah. So, because today um, our topic is, you know, the new kid on the block, mm -hmm. do you have any idioms to share? I was thinking about uh, collocations for fame. Oh, fantastic. So off the top of my head, what do we have? Rising fame, find fame, mm -hmm. uh, rise to fame as yeah. some verbs. In terms of adjectives, lasting fame, mm -hmm. fame that lasts a long time. Um, thinking about success, uh, I was thinking about overnight success, runaway success, instant success. These and other uh, collocations are all uh, available to us mm. in our handy collocation dictionaries. Fantastic. As the last introduction to our audience, what is the one thing about you that you'd like our audience to remember? I'd like our audience to remember to tune in next week. <laughs> Fantastic. For the next show. Fantastic. All right, guys, so make sure you tune in to the next show. And for this show, it's not yet over, so stay tuned for a couple more minutes. Here is our book suggestions this week. the most authentic practice test available. There is one full listening test, one full reading test, and three full writing tests. There is also a full general training test. These practice tests will give you a good indication of your approximate IELTS level in reading and listening skills. There are also several sample candidate writing responses with banned scores and examine the comments to assess your writing. On the CD, there are three complete speaking tests with band scores and examine the comments in the book. Well, have you seen the book suggestions? Do you like any of them? Do you want to buy any of them? Or do you, do you want to read any of them? Make sure you Google online to see which are the books that you can purchase here in Vietnam or go to tiki.vn to purchase them and have them delivered to you. Enjoy reading. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I still, I still be from the block. 
Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. <laughs> so it's time for me to end today's session. Let me think about how I can end. So I think you know when we're we're new to something or we're a stranger to a, a new a, a new industry or a new place, it's easy for us to be fearful. It's easy for us to feel like we might be bullied. Um, but I think the the worst thing to think about for ourselves is that we're victimized by by our circumstances. And if we want something hard enough and we work hard towards it, it will get closer to what we want. Um, I'll take that away. I'll, that's going to be my takeaway for this episode for myself. What's yours? Share with us. But until next time. Ciao, ciao, ciao.